Street Falls! That reporter, she came to a signing. How very interesting, sir. This will help us. She seems quite clever. She's a child. What? Amazing what kids can do on the internet. Forget about her. I'm too big a star to worry about some girl. No. Instead, find the person behind this fake school. Uh, ah! oh, Dolly's awesome. She's already got tons of people reading her news stories online. Yeah, I noticed that. It's pretty much the opposite of what's happening on Corey's soccer news site. Popularity isn't everything. And so what if Dolly's news blog has thousands of followers? I don't care. I don't think it's gonna last long. What exactly are you saying? What I'm trying to say is I'm starting a new news site. Oh. Seriously? What's wrong with you? Anyway, so that's why I need your help. These are all of the reporters I want working for me and the topics I want them to cover. First, reporting on school news, we have Ryan Char. <sighs> Except for the sports news, Dylan can write that. Let's see, what else? The word on the street. <clears throat> How about Nathan? Guys, come back, I'm not done! I'm still talking here. <clears throat> I'll hire someone else then. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Say, could I be one of your reporters? Yeah, I guess. Oh, no. It's a really bad sign when you don't finish your dinner. What's bothering you this time? Come on. You know you can tell us anything. Robots are good listeners. Uh, boss, uh, can I have your leftovers? No. Aren't you worried about the fake acting school? It's only a matter of time before Tom Fuse finds out it was us. He's going to be mad. Well, let's just explain it to him. What? Did your circuit board get wet in the rain? I just think he'll forgive us if we tell him ourselves. And if we bring him something. He hates presents. We could sing. Or what if we all did a little dance? No! I'm talking about that reporter, Dolly. She's been getting in his way with all those stories about food by fuse. So we'll stop her from causing trouble, and then you can beg for his forgiveness. You're only human, right? And we all make mistakes. He'll understand. Hmm. Well, I am good at groveling, you know. Fine. Let's go get that pesky reporter. But where do we start? Hmm. I know. Reporters can't resist a good story, so let's give her a story she can't resist. My favorite kind of story is a spooky one, where I feel so shivery and scared that I spill my cocoa. Same here. Uh, let's tell her there's something spooky going on at the old factory. That'll do it. But, um, the old factory? Do I... you need me to go with you? Why? Are you scared? I know this is silly, but someone told me it's haunted. Uh, believe me, boss, we'll be the only ghosts there. We're gonna be ghosts? Fine, then. If it's theater, you'll need my acting talent. <laughs> Let's see, I'll need a dress rehearsal and, of course, a brand new business card, too. <laughs> Were you asleep? No, not sleeping, just thinking. Listen, Layla, you have to remember to call me boss here at work, okay? Because, you know, we're professionals. Oh, sorry. Hey, boss, there's a message here that I think you should read. Come here and take a look. If you insist, hold on. See? It looks like a lead. Huh. Nice work. This could be a big story. Okay, there. Looks pretty good. You did make me look like a really handsome ghost, right? You bet I did. Hmm. It's too bad we don't have a mirror. <laughs> but what about your makeup? We don't need it. We have glow-in-the-dark face masks. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Scary. Boss, five minutes to curtain. Okay. Wait just a minute. Here's the plan. I hide until they show up, then I'll scream. Ah, I'm a ghost! Ah! And I jump in front of them? You got it. Okay, right. I just hope you don't get scared waiting in the dark. Don't worry about me. I've got nerves of steel. Literally, they're made of steel. Over there. Hello? The message.
message said fourth floor, right? Huh. <sighs> yes. Um, don't you think it's a bit chilly in here? Of course it's chilly. The heat's turned off. Oh, right. But still, uh, people shiver when there's a ghost in the room. What? What? <gasps> what was that? It didn't sound like a child. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> Go to your happy place. Hear that? There's someone talking over there. Nobody's talking. I'm sure it's the wind. There's nothing to be scared about. Okay, we've seen enough. It's not working. I'm still scared. Where are the biker bots? So, I guess our source is a no-show. Oh well. Hold on. Look there. I think he found her. Come on. Microbots, you haven't forgotten me here, have you? Huh? <sighs> yeah, I'm going home. Uh, is that my makeup? <clears throat> Sir? Ghosts aren't real. That's what I used to think. But Layla said she saw them too. Someone played a trick on us. Look at these. What? what? They're disguises. I found this stuff inside. I'd say somebody was setting us up. So that means the food by Fuse tip off was a fake? Yep. Hmm. Why? Who would want to do that? <laughs> Man, oh man, that's the loudest snoring I've ever heard. <laughs> right? Well, at least we know he's okay. When this is over, we should get him to enter some competitions. <laughs> is there an award for snoring? Here's his favorite. Hey, you can't give food to someone who's sleeping. Boss is always eating in his sleep. See? What? Look at this. Whoa, he's responding to the smell of the food. All right, good. Make sure that the new sign is visible from the highway. So tell me, Mr. Dillick had some kind of accident? He's resting now. But we're busy. I mean, what was he even doing? Frolicking in a factory. The lab sent a report. His bone density confounded them. It was hard to run the tests. In short, our worst employee has a very, very thick skull. Well, hello, Mr. Fuse. So is the silly man okay, or is he not okay? From what the doctor was able to see, poor Mr. Dillock will make a full recovery. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure he was ever playing with a full deck. Okay, so he's fine. <laughs> Ah! 
Well, well. The Octobot's looking great. I hear it's been busy taking care of our little problem. You could say that. And the taste test is going well? Yes, it's underway. Play a trick on Dolly. We're lucky Officer O got to her. She's an extremely bright kid, but it gets her in trouble. Hmm. Do you think it's time to make her a Tobot? Hmm. She's certainly been patient letting Nathan have W. Let's do it. No! And why do you say that? Because what does she need a Tobot for? She should just be careful. I mean, she's not even a real reporter. She got herself in trouble just to get a lame story. Besides, being a Tobot pilot is hard enough for us. She's got so many other things taking up her time. Dylan, you agree with me, right? Um, well, I guess so. Like all that time she spends at her homework. I really think her priorities are mixed up on this one, Dad. Corey, that is just not fair. You aren't being reasonable. Dolly cares about the Tobots, and it's great that she works hard at school. But she's... Mm. Look, your dad is right. Are you saying you don't care about her safety? No, no, that's no, not it! Not. Uh, if you don't want us to make her one, but you want her to stay safe, then lend her your Tobots. What? No! no! Well then, that settles it. Dolly should have a Tobot for herself. Do you all agree? Yeah. Hmm, thought so. Officer Bull, are you on to something? Yeah, look at this. There's a food by fuse location on every street where a restaurant's been forced to close. It's no coincidence. They're shutting out the competition. Over. Exactly. As I always say, if the fast rabbit doesn't make it to the finish line, you better question the tortoise. I don't quite follow. Isn't the tortoise and the hare a folktale about patience? Over. Well, you know, to a police officer, it's more about the... No, oh, forget it. I'm gonna pay a visit to Food by Fuse's head office. <sighs> I made the reporters days ago, and they still haven't written anything for me. Oh. How's our editor? Good, thanks. Have you got a story for me? <laughs> I sure do. It's quite a scoop, I must say. That is just what I need. What is it? Here. It's very exciting. I am currently standing in this lovely farm where a new litter of piglets has just been born in excellent health. Aren't they the cutest things? Oh, they slammed me! All eight piglets and the sow are doing very well. The farmer isn't sure yet, but he might soon be looking after a small pig belonging to his neighbor, Mal. This is Tobot R reporting from a farm near you. Good, yes? I've got goosebumps. Yes, that was really interesting. So is that it? Of course not. If you liked that, you'll love this one right here. This year's harvest is reported to be the largest in several years, and farmers are having to get up extra early. The days are long, but the work is rewarding. I'm here live at the scene of an exciting crop drying station. How about I give you a hand with that? May I? Don't, dear. Please, be gentle. Of course. Look for local produce at the supermarket and at farmer's markets in your community. This is Tobot R reporting from the heart of the action. See you next time. Oh, before I forget, I plan to do a feature on carrot farms. If you want, you can help me with the research. Yeah, um, no. I don't think we need a story on carrots, actually. I just can't shake the feeling that Corey wasn't interested in my reporting. Wasn't the writing good enough? Huh? Is something the matter, boy? Stay, sit. Stop barking and come back here. Boy, there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that? Oh, no!